Thanks, Tina. So let's come down to our mats. Bend the knees, put the hips on the heels. Let your hips heavy to your heels. Walk your hands out forward. This is a beautiful stretch along the spine, starting to work into the hips, down through your legs, the knees, the shins, the calves, your ankles. And over the course of the next two, three, four, five breaths, know that you can change this position as much as you like, meaning you can bring your legs together. You can bring your hands back by your hips. All the offerings to find a child's pose that fits for right here, right now. Knowing the body's different every day we're here exploring. Hi, Ellen. Just exploring how you feel right now as you imbue the shape with breath. And let the shape work into your body. And as we move on in class, know that child's poses a uh, offering that is there for you the entire class. So it's an invitation to return to deep connection. It may feel like dipping out in some of the realms of you, but seeing if you can use it as this tether to the breath and keep it as the through line for your whole class, connection of body and breath. And feel your breath, the rise and fall, the expansion, contraction, all day long. Expand, contract. This goes on all day in our bodies, in the world. The breath mimic it, mimics it all day. So see if you can really allow yourself to be with without judgment. See if you can go a little deeper into it. Let's try by expelling all the air from our lungs. Let's take in a lovely deep, full inhalation, deepest, fullest breath. Hold it. And exhale, H-A. Then we could try that again. Empty, empty lungs. Taking a deep, full inhale. And exhale, HM. If your hands are back by your hips, you can start to walk them forward. Tint up on your fingertips just a tiny bit. Good, feel the hips heavy a little more. Stretch the entire back body. Welcome, welcome. Taking a lovely deep, full inhale. And exhale, H-A. <sighs> slowly, slowly, as you walk your hands forward, lift up to all fours. And as we lift up onto all fours, Find your tabletop position. Yeah, the knees directly underneath the hips. The shoulders stack up over the wrists. Spread your fingers wide so shoulders, elbows, wrists stack. You can tuck your toes or keep the shoelace sides of your feet down. And from here, let's just do a few C curves. Cross shoulder to head. Lift up your obliques a little bit. Start to nod your head in little circles. And all the while, breathing in ways that feel so amazing that you connect even more. You can keep the lips sealed, bring in the Uchaya breath. Kind of sounds like a little mini, uh, mini me Darth Vader, yeah. And from here, let's start a few cat cows. So inhale, press the belly down, roll the shoulders back, pick the chin up. Look up, throat stretches, chin stretches. 
Exhale, tuck the chin and round. Cat spine. Inhale, belly down, roll shoulders back, look up. And exhale, tuck the chin and round, curl in, find your mysterious cat, yeah. And over the course of the next few breaths, try it a few more times. Inhaling, exhaling, start to take it and make it your own. So for some that might mean going a little faster, for others that may, might mean going a little slower and feeling each movement, letting the spine recalibrate. And over the course of the next two or three breaths, there's no hurry. Start to draw your hips up high, fingers spread wide, bring the movement up into your down dog. And as you bring the movement into your down dog, start to check. Feet about hip width. Good, roughly six inches, the width of your face or width of your skull in between your big toes. Lift the sit points up. Feel the length along your spine. Bring a generous bend into your knees. Look in between your hands. Check that your hands are about shoulder width distance. Beautiful. Deep, full breaths looks nice. Nice, Colleen. Good, Ellen. Here goes Carrie. Very nice, Helen. Beautiful, Naomi. Oh, I see your puppy, your furry baby. So then draw your heart back towards your upper thighs and take a few moments in the upside down V. Tilt the pelvis, hug belly in, engage the pelvic wall. Good. And as you lift your sit points up, almost as if you feel like your sit points have two strings on them. Feel the length along your spine. Press the mat away, drag your heart back towards your upper thighs. As you're creasing the knees, draw the heels down towards the earth. Feel all the different elements of your down dog, all these different sensation, hips high, head low, strong legs. Good, opening up along the back side of your heart by drawing your underarms in towards one another. Empty, empty lungs. Taking a lovely full inhalation, hold it at the top, and exhale, H A. <sighs> From here, inhale, float and reach your right leg long. As you reach and extend, flex the right toes. So almost like you wanna check where your uh, pedicure's at. Your, yeah, and then lengthen, find a little more length. The leg is about hip height. Beautiful, level off the hips. Take another inhale and exhale, let the hip roll open. Breathe along right side, a little fresh air, a little opening. See if you can start to imagine the feeling inside your body. Inhaling, exhaling, moving the energy around, enlivening. Maybe it's more about the knee or lifting your hip up. Good, and then on your next inhale, float and reach the right leg long, reach, extend. Exhale, knee to nose, navel in, round and curl in, find your cat spine, beautiful. Inhale, lengthen long, stretch the leg, lift it up as high as you can. Exhale, draw the knee across the torso to the left elbow shoulder. Maybe tricep look in that direction if it's available. Inhale, lengthen long. Exhale, bring the right knee out by the right elbow, shoulder, tricep. Just notice a little power moves here. Inhale, lengthen long, stretch your leg, reach it all the way up. And exhale, touch the toes down to the mat. Inhale, float and reach your left leg long. At first, creating these beautiful long lines from the hip out through the heel, stretch and lengthen your leg. 
Beautiful. Take one more inhalation for expansion and exhale. Let the left side body awaken, yawn open. Sometimes can feel like a big body yawn. How does it feel to you today? Each of us is so uh, uniquely different in this amazing, unique container known as your body, this vessel for which we breathe and experience our life from seemingly. Take a few more breaths. Maybe find something a little different on this side, yeah. Allow yourself those moments of variation between right and left. And then inhale, float and reach the left leg long. Square the hips off, find a little more power. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose, navel in, curl in. Good, inhale, lengthen long. Exhale, draw the knee across the torso to the right elbow, shoulder, maybe it's the tricep, look in that direction if it's available. Inhale, lengthen long, big stretch. Exhale, draw the knee to the left elbow, shoulder, tricep, find it, hug, navel in. Inhale, lengthen long, big, big stretch, lift the leg up high, and exhale, float your foot down to the mat. Soften your knees, relax your neck, look in between your hands, take a few steps. If you feel warmed up, you can certainly jump forward. Good, as we jump forward or step forward, bend your knees, put a generous bend in the knees. Let your head draw down. Good, check that your feet are just about mid slip. Do this in between the center, middle of the feet, the arches of your feet. And then let your head draw down. Draw the weight to the toe pads. Then feel the heels. Let the arches of your feet light up. Hold your elbows, perhaps. Maybe snuggle the edges of your pinkies inside your elbows to just let your body organically be drawn down with the heaviness of the head and the shoulders. You can certainly uh, choose a few alternatives. You can bring your hands behind your back, interlock the fingers, and from here let your arms flop forward, enlivening just the energy channels along the seams of your armpits. There are channels that are correlative to the heart and lung, meridians, yeah, which will just rejuvenate and bring some more enlivenness there, yeah. And then from there you can interlock the fingers at the nape of your neck, the ridge of your skull, Good, and then from there, almost like you're palming the back of your head, just gently let yourself sway a little right and left. You can always stay with the first position. Sometimes doing a very static forward fold can feel really amazing. The choices are predicated on how you're feeling and let how you're feeling summon up this commitment to the practice. You've come to the mat, and how we show up very often is correlative to the connection of your breath. So release your hands. Good, wherever you are, let's inhale, hands to shins or thighs, halfway lift, chin way back, flattens. So always hands, shins, thighs, maybe floor if you're feeling really open and flexible this morning. Crown of head forward, neck spine long, navel drawn in. One more breath to elongate, lengthen your spine, sit points towards the back of the mat, and exhale, hold forward. And then try that one breath, one movement style. Inhale, halfway lift, chin away, back flattens. Exhale, release. Two more times. Maybe imagine your gaze going to the third eye the lower temple in between your eyes. One more time, just try the inhale creates. The half lift and exhale safely carries you out. Beautiful, let's inhale, arms forward and up. Come all the way up into mountain. Stand tall on the mountain. Big breaths, inhaling, exhaling. So you have options, you can close the eyes and start to 
work with some of the other senses, working into proprioception, your, how your body feels in space. Take a few more inhales and exhales. Feel the energy glide up through your feet, up through your legs, the hips, the torso. Let your shoulders drop back and down. Turn the pinkies in towards one another to release the shoulder heads down just a tiny bit more away from your ears. Feel the tops of your ears reach up towards the sky, longing to greet the day with the crown chakra, big breaths, inhaling, exhaling. Feel the energy at the center of your palms enliven. Take two more deep, full breaths, whatever that means for you. They can be vibrational. You can even flutter your lips. That can be a great way to release your jaw. And then from here, let's drain the lungs all together. Empty, empty lungs. Take in a deep, full inhale. Big, big breath. Lift your arms up. Lift the heart up. Reach up. Maybe a little back forward and exhale, H-A, half forward, fold. And take that a few times on your own. Inhale to rise up, lift up. <laughs> exhale, fold forward. Beautiful. Rising up, lifting up. All about finding your mountain. And then perhaps a little bit tiny little baby, baby little wave on the top. And then as we come all the way back down, inhale, halfway lift, chin away back, flattens, lengthen, send the heart out, and exhale, release. Hands down, step your feet back, pause in upper push-up plank. So in upper push-up plank, the heels stack over the toes, the breath is full, the shoulders, elbows, Wrist stack, deep breath, strong moment. Yeah, that's it, Colleen. Big breaths as you inhale and exhale. Nice, Kate. Beautiful breath. Slowly draw the heart forward. Nice, Helen. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower halfway. Flip the toes. Good. Draw the heart forward. Lift your heart up. Suspended in between your hands and feet. Look up, heart up, strong legs, up dog. Exhale, H-A, ha, down dog. Beautiful. Soften your knees, relax your neck. Take a few steps forward. We're gonna do it one breath, one movement style. As you step forward, inhale, halfway lift. Greet the top of your mat and release. Inhale, arms rise up. So you'll be a little in front of dialogue, a little behind. Reach up, heart up, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. On your fold forward, inhale, halfway lift, chin away, flatten back, and release. Hands catch the mat, step your feet back and flow. You could use the knees, chin, chest, baby cobra, if that feels like a more authentic way for you to flow today. And take it three more rounds through your modified sun salutations. Find the top of your mat. Find your half lift. Explore. As you open up, start to notice all the little nooks and crannies we enliven via the breath. Sometimes we've abandoned them just out of not moving around. But as the connection continues, all those little pockets and places may open. You may have some psychic changes, a little lift in your casual body. You may even have an emotional release. No one has to move as quickly as anyone else, just like when we're in studio together. Use the breath. The breath can be really potent. Each exhale and each har. Hmm. My favorite time to use my vibrational breath is when I come back into down dog. If the breath gets choppier, hell, child's pose me. Have that reservation for you and you may take it. It might simply be a potent release of breath. 
As we finish up and come into down dog, spread the fingers wide, push the mat away, tilt the pelvis, lift your hips up. Feel the heart expand across the back body. Good, big breaths and we'll empty, empty lungs. Take in a lovely deep full inhale, hold it. Exhale, H-A. Good, inhale, float and reach the right leg long. Reach and extend. Exhale, knee to nose, navel in, shoulders round. Find cat spine. Beautiful, inhale, lengthen, find the extension. Exhale, knee to nose, navel in, shoulders round. One more, inhale, lengthen. Big movement, full breath. Exhale, step your foot all the way in between your hands. Toes, greet the tops of your fingertips. Peel the back heel down, inhale, both arms up, warrior one. So as you glide your arms up, keep the right knee directly over the right ankle, the outer edge of the back foot grips your mat. Big, beautiful breaths. You can always step the back foot out just a little bit more. The hips, it's more of a feels like they square off to the top of the mat. They don't always look like that. Close your eyes if it's available. If that's not available, still your gaze. The body follows the gaze. Maybe the eyelids at half mass looking in front of you, not down towards the mat. That was nice. So sit low. Reach your arms up with some power. Turn the pinkies in. Drain the lungs. Inhale, reach up, reach back, look back. And exhale, hands come down. Step your right foot back and flow, upper push up to lower, up dog to down, maybe knees to chest, baby cobra, I see you, that was lovely. And exhale with an H-A har, hmm, down dog. On your next inhale, float and reach your left leg long. Find some extension, lift the leg up super high, exhale, knee to nose, navel in, shoulders round. Inhale, lengthen, articulate the movement via the breath. Exhale, knee to nose, navel in, shoulders round. Hug your belly in, that's it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Step your foot silently in between your hands. That can be a one day. Peel the back heel down. Inhale, both arms up. Glide your arms up. Spread the fingers wide. Find more your one on the left side. And again, squeeze the outer edge of the back foot, pinky toe to heal, feel the arches of your feet light up. Feel the inner thigh scissor in, right hip comes forward, right side body forward, left back. Sit low, reach the arms up. Feel your ribs lift up into the buoyancy of your heart. Good, take a few more breaths. See if you can summon up the elements of your warrior. What are the elements that have you the most present? Staying with my breath, allowing space in between the thoughts, let the feelings come and go. Sit low, drain the lungs. On your next inhale, rise up, reach up, stay low in the lunge and exhale, hands down. Step back, find your flow, upper push up to lower, up dog to down. One breath, one movement, warrior one, right to left. Move at your own pace. As we move through, release any judgment. Let the thought realm get a little more expansive. Try not to latch on to any of the thoughts. Let the feelings kaleidoscope from one to the next. What is your experience? Perhaps kaleidoscope is not the word for your feelings. What would the word be for yours? Allow the breath to carry and move the energy around your body. All the elements coming together. 
Beautiful, Aisha, I love that. And as we meet back in down dog, whether it's down dog, child's pose, empty, empty lungs, taking a deep full inhale, exhale, H-A. On your next inhale, float and reach the right leg long. Exhale, sweep the right foot all the way in between your hands, please. Keep your back heel lifted, left hand down, right arm up, find a little twist. So press the left hand into the right, chin to the right shoulder, feel your shoulder stack. Left hand is close to the right foot. Good, deep breathing, inhaling, exhaling. You can always come down on the back knee. That may feel like a moment of self-love, compassion, Good, take one more inhale, reach up with the right hand and release, right hand down. Peel your back heel down, inhale into your warrior one, exhale, warrior two, right arm forward, left arm back. So as you step into warrior two, step your feet further away from one another, dial the back heel down. Outer edge of your back foot is parallel to the short edge of your mat. Right knee over right ankle, very low in the lunge, a 90 degree angle on the front thigh. Commit to your lunge, peel the left hip away from the inner right heel, beautiful, correct. Feel your heart rise with each, each inhale, with each exhale, let your heart expand. Drain the lungs. Taking a lovely full inhale, reach wide, stay where you are, exhale, H-A. <sighs> Next, inhale, the moving breath. Inhale, reach, extend. Exhale, part with your hands down, step your leg back. Find your flow, high to low, up to down. Everybody empty, empty lungs in down dog. Taking a deep, full inhale, biggest, fullest breath. Nice, I can feel you, Madeline, Christina. Exhale, H-A. Ha, ah, I'm sure Susan's here. Inhale, the left leg long. Reach, extend. Exhale, sweep your foot all the way in between your hands, please. Keep the back heel, right heel lifted, right hand down, left arm up, breathe into your twist. Good, so feel your shoulder stack. You can always drop the back knee, knee thigh, never directly on the kneecap, always. A little more mindful of our joints. A little tele TLC to our joints, good. And as we're reaching up, oh, Heidi's on, hey Heidi. So as you're reaching up, feel the shoulder stack. Good, yes. Inhaling, exhaling. Press away with right hand, reach up with left. One more inhale, ignite the twist, reach, reach, and release. Left hand down, dial the back heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. Good, separate the feet a little wider, nice. Beautiful checking, Ellen. Look over the left shoulder, close your eyes. You know, if it's ever necessary to look neutral at the wall to the right side, all is well. But if you can, look over the left shoulder. Sit nice and low. Feel the hips be encouraged to open. And you can even step your feet a teeny bit wider when the hips open a little bit. Sit low with control. Drain the lungs, good. Inhale, reach to the front, reach to the back, stay here. One more step. Exhale, H-A. <sighs> Inhale, reach wide. Exhale, pinwheel your hands down. Step your leg back. Find your flow, high to low, up to down. One breath, one movement, warrior one, warrior two. Move at your own pace. You can keep the twist, you can lose the twist. Predicated on how you're feeling while you're flowing. Notice if you 
can rely a little bit more on body breath connection, not what you think you need to do, not what you think it looks like. You start right to left. You can twist. You can Beautiful, amazing expressions of Vyasana. So as we move through, just notice perhaps how the transitions feel. Can the transitions be just as paramount as each shape we land in? And in the landing, feel each nook and cranny as it enlivens in your container, in your body. We come back into down dog. If you're still moving, you're in the right place. Keep moving. From your down dog, you'll soften your knees, relax your neck. Find the top of your mat. You may jump forward, continue into your half lift on the inhale and exhale release. Check that your feet are about hips with distance. Good, two fists in between your feet, snug fit. There we go, good, beautiful checking. The sacred measure really helps you find the shape to your maximum. Inhale, hips down, arms up, chair pose. And then we notice the variations in the container. Good, weight in the heels, shins back in space. Sit points towards the back of your mat. Breath is nice and full. Knit your low ribs and yeah, you can bring your arms out a little wider than your shoulders for a little accessibility. Can you sit a little lower, reach a little longer? What would have you feel the fierceness of this shape a little bit more? Deep breaths, just an ukatasa. Naomi, I know you're good, yeah. Furry baby time can be a little challenging while we're yoging. So as you sit a little lower, yes, knit the low ribs, reach the arms up, sit low, reach long, stand up. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, release. Hands down, step back, flow. High to low, up to down. From your down dog, soften your knees, relax your neck. Take a little hop, step, jump forward. If you're jumping, try inhaling, continuing half lift and release. Beautiful. Step your feet together, the big toes together. Inhale, hips down, arms up, chair pose. Sit low, reach long. Big, beautiful breaths as you inhale and exhale. Good, sit a little lower through the seat. Squeeze your knees, feel your adductors drop down and in towards one another. One more time, hug the belly and sit low, reach long, exhale, swipe your hands back by your hips like airplanes. Reach as if your fingertips will touch the back of your mat or the light emanating from the well. And from here, shift the weight to your right leg. Pick your left heel up towards your buttock and hinge forward. As you hinge forward, crown of head forward, spread your fingers wide, Good, deep breaths, awkward airplane. Inhaling, exhaling. Bring your hands to heart center. Take another full breath, then reach your arms forward. Inhaling, exhaling for three, for two, for one. Both hands down, lift your left leg up as high as possible, standing splits. So as you lift your left leg up, draw your forehead down. Walk your hands closer to the right foot. For many, this is a great opportunity to just start to find standing splits. This can be a lifetime endeavor. It's great work if you can get it. Yeah, you can also wrap your right hand around the outside of the ankle and draw the forehead to the shin. Lift the left leg all the way up. Lift, lift, lift and release right hand, support yourself with both hands, left foot down, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Step your feet together, toes and heels. Good, nice Colleen. Good carry. Inhale, hips down, arms up. Chair pose. So we sit low, reach long. Big breath, squeeze your knees. Yeah, toes touching particularly, yeah. So as we sit nice and low, sit point straight to the back of your mat, swoop your arms back. Spread your fingers wide, reach your arms back. Good, hug your low belly in. Shift the weight to the left leg. Pick your right heel up, start to hinge forward. Send your right heel to the back of the room, so beautiful. As you're gliding hard forward, crown of head, draw your right hip down just a tiny bit. Try to level the hips, that's my journey. Hands to the heart center, deep breathing, then reach your arms forward. Reach, extend, good. Take one more, yeah, yeah. Teeter totter, that's okay. Sometimes life shows up like this too. Reach, reach, and release both hands down. Lift your right leg up. Just try, stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling. Draw the front hip to the shin. Keep breathing. Keep breathing, feel for your breath. Walk your hands closer to the foot. Maybe the left hand wraps around. Forehead to shin. Good, that's it. Keep the hands close to the foot. That's a great position, Carrie. Just lift your leg up a little more. Lift, lift, forehead to shin. Lift, 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 lift. Unwrap the hand if you wrapped it. Both hands down, right foot down. Inhale, halfway lift. Chin away back, flattens. That was lovely. And release, hands down. Step back, flow. High to low, up to down. Good, empty, empty lungs in your down dog. Taking a deep, full inhale. Exhale, H-A. <sighs> inhale the right leg long. Exhale, sweep the right foot all the way in between your hands. Dial the back heel down, inhale into your warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Right arm forward, left arm back. Sit nice and low, shoulders stack up over hips. Breath is nice and full. Big, expansive warrior two. Close your eyes, feel the elements of the warrior present. The warrior is aware of above, below, side to side, within. Drain the lungs. Taking a lovely deep breath, stay where you are. Exhale, H-A. <sighs> Flip your right palm up, inhale, reach towards the front of the room and release right arm up, reverse warrior. Left hand down the back leg, above or below the knee for stability. You can certainly wrap, nice Kate, that looks great. You want to allow the right side body to engage and open. Keep it a side bend, not a back bend. Peel the left tip away from your front heel a little bit, that was nice. Keep the side stretch. You can use your right arm, reach it up a little bit more, turn the right pinky and iron out the elbow. Left hand's facilitating the stretch. One more time, keep the front leg as close to a 90 degree angle as possible. From here, inhale, reach all the way back as far as you can and exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step your leg back. Flow, high to low, up to down. Can you hear me, Helen? You're not, did you lose me? Oh, there she is, okay, cool. Inhale the left leg long. Reach, extend. Exhale, knee towards the nose, step all the way in between your thumbs. Peel the back heel down, inhale into your warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, left arm forward, right arm back. Big breaths, that was nice repositioning, I like that. So big, beautiful breaths, feel your warrior two. Good, Adina. Sit low, reach wide, drain the lungs. Taking a lovely, deep, full breath, fullest breath to date, and exhale, let it go. Ah. 
Flip your left palm, inhale, reach, create a little room, left arm up, right hand down the back leg, above or below the knee for stability. So sit low, reach long, ribs fan open, turn the pinky in towards your face, beautiful. Keep reaching up and back, beautiful breaths. The ribs fan open, reverse warrior, exalted warrior sitting low, draw the left, if the knee's wavering right or left, draw it back to center, sit a little lower. There we go, reaching left arm up, iron out the left elbow, turn the pinky in. You can look up towards your fingertips or down towards your back heel. One more breath to sit low, inhale, reach all the way back, and exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step your leg back, flow, high to low, up to down. One breath, one movement, warrior one, warrior two, reverse warrior. Move at your own pace. See if you can widen your comfort zone a little bit. Work at your edge. Early morning edge may be very different than your afternoon or evening edge. So just allow it to reveal itself. And then from there, you can start to make choices based on what's being revealed to you. So often the body breath connection informs us of that which we weren't aware of. So allow yourself to just receive. Don't judge, don't try and change it. See if you can work within it. As you finish up, if you're still moving, keep moving. Look in between your hands. Good, take a jump forward, find a half lift, chin away back flattens, and release. Step your feet together, toes and heels. We'll do a variation of chair. Good, inhale, hips down, arms up, palms press, thunderbolt. So the arms can be straight forward, we want the arms straight. So for some, straight can be all the way up by the ear flaps, edges of cheekbones, or forward. Well, full breaths, knit your low ribs. Yeah, almost like you put one of those little puffer vests on and a little snug, yeah. Now squeeze your legs, sit low. Big breaths. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, the upper body lifts. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. So as you come into a twist, stay here for a moment. We're just gonna do a little trust yourself moment today. Keep your hips below your navel, head above your heart. Stack your elbows, feel your shoulders begin to stack in the twist. Shift the weight to your right leg. Good, shift the weight to your right leg. Look over right shoulder or directly neutral. From here, step your left foot back, keep the heel lifted. Beautiful and we land in crescent lunge twist. From here, you could open up into a fly. You can always bend in the back knee down. From your fly, you could turn that into a bind, right hand around your back. Left hand scoots underneath, good. Keep pressing the palms to heart center, or flying or binding. One more beautiful breath. And release, come back to center. Inhale, lift your arms up. Rise up, reach up, and release. Hands catch the mat, step your left foot forward, forward fold. Good, inhale, halfway left. Exhale, release. Toes and heels together. Inhale, hips down, arms up, palms press, thunderbolt. So squeeze your legs, you've been here a few times today. What would have you feel the most successful in this shape right now? 
Would it be from fingertips to toe tips, everything squeezing, finding this whole center meridian of your entire being? Would it be sitting a little lower, heart rising, straightening the arms? On your next breath, bring your hands to heart center, elbows wide. So see if you can make one long line from elbow to elbow, press palms. Inhale, the upper body lifts. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. So as we twist to the left, again, check that your, your hips are below your navel. Yes, better. Your head's above your heart. Chin towards the left shoulder, almost like you're gonna say a little secret to your left armpit. Now, shift the weight. Trust yourself moment. Step your right foot back, heel stays lifted. Awesome. It's okay, yeah, just come right back in. Awesome, me too. All the me too's. Press the hands to heart center. Feel the stacking, the twisting from the navel through the crown of your head. Beautiful long line from your back heel to the crown of your head. Flying, binding, all the offerings are here. Side to side, again, can be very different, right? There can be a variation. You don't have to do the same thing on each side. The balance will come. Take one more breath, inhale. Exhale, arms up, reach up, reach back, and release both hands down. Step your foot back, flow it out. High to low, up to down. Beautiful, we'll slow it all down. Keep your hips high though, empty, empty lungs. Press the mat away, engage your heart, draw your heart back. Inhale, full breath, deepest, fullest breath of the whole morning. Exhale, stick your tongue out. All those unspoken words, unshared thoughts. Inhale, right leg long. Reach and extend. Let your hip roll open, twirl the ankles, separate the toes. Good. Bring your right knee out past your right hip. The foot is on the left side of your mat. This is half pigeon. So square your hips off. Lift your heart up. Look at your back left leg. Mirrors the long edge of your mat. Try not to have, see if you can point your foot straight to the back. Yeah. It pays to be very particular in this sacred geometry. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold forward, walk yourself forward. So nice. The forehead comes down. Flutter your lips a little bit. Support your forehead, either on the tops of your hands, on your mat or, or the towel on your mat. Regulate your breathing. If it's really erratic or choppy at this point, take a few deep breaths. A sigh or a hum. Let your shoulders soften. Here's a little passage from a book I'm reading. It's called In Case. At times, it's hardship that opens us, like a shovel splitting wet earth. At times, the light of another, another filters like sunlight through all the blinds we've drawn. And sometimes, like now, I'm softened by the glow of those entangled in the dark. They move, they move about like stars that can't stay still, looking for light everywhere but in themselves. I've done this when in pain or lost or after I've hurt someone I love. Last night I couldn't sleep, so I imagined that my breathing was coming and going through the crack in my heart. This relaxed me. So I closed my eyes and imagined 
that with each inhalation, I was owning my mistakes. And with each exhalation, I was sending a drop of mercy to those who are hurting, whether I know them or not. Then everything began to quiet. The noise of my pain, the noise in my head, the noise of the world remaking itself faster than we can break it. And in that winded spot, I felt the air of love lift me. And this, this is why I thank you when we meet. In case what helps me came from you. Empty, empty lungs. Taking a lovely full inhale. And exhale, HM. Mm. Slowly, carefully, press yourself away with care. Yeah. Lift the heart up. Perhaps take a breath here. Find an exit that feels good for you. We're all so different and unique in our experiences. For many, we'll flip the back toes with the hands, press away, find our down dog, pedal it out. Good, and then see if you can come through one of two farewell flows. Just recalibrate the energy. Let the flow release some of the energy we just stimulated in the hip. And from down dog, inhale, float and reach the left leg long. Reach and extend the leg. Let the hip roll open. See if you can find some space that we'll breathe into in the pigeon. And then bring your left knee out past your left hip. Lengthen your right leg, point the toes. The hips face forward, squared off, lift heart. Good, a nice big breath here at the top. <sighs> and just start to walk your hands forward. For many, this is as challenging as the chair is for some. And for some, this is as soothing and releasing as child's pose. Whatever your experience here is, breathe into it. Know that all the different energies come together, particularly as we're practicing in unison. Maybe seemingly very solo, but we are all together in these moments. Let your breath comfort you, not only in revelation, but in the way of TLC when somebody you love touches your back or your forehead. Or someone you thought hadn't noticed you gives you a big wave. And you feel seen. Let your breath imbue some of these sensations. It's one of the most amazing gifts of being in the body, all these different sensations that bring on the feelings and rejuvenate our consciousness, bring us back to perhaps the original nature of us, our true nature, open, free, expansive, less fear. More presence in the moment. Empty, empty lungs. Taking a lovely full inhale. And exhale, H-A. From here, let's lift all the way up. Good, pause as you lift up. We're just gonna find a different exit together. 
Lean over to your left hip thigh. Good, pick your right leg up, bring the right heel to the side of your left knee for a seated twist, yeah. If you come out, just bend the left leg, draw left heel to the left hip, good. Right hand to the base of your spine, left arm up. Hook the left elbow outside the right knee thigh, over the right shoulder. As you look over the right shoulder, lengthen your spine. Use the right hand for leverage, press it into the earth. Let your heart shoot up towards the sky, look over the right shoulder and twist. Inhale, lift, lengthen, and twist. Inhale, lift, lengthen, and twist, twist. And release, bring both hands to the left side body, a little counter twist. Good, and then let's switch it. Bend your right leg, what was on top is on the bottom. The left leg, left heel next to right knee thigh, left hand to base of spine. Good, right arm up. Hook the right elbow outside the left knee. Good. You can create a little mudra with the index finger thumb. You can reach for your bottom knee, look over your left shoulder. And again, root to rise, sit points down, heart lifting, look over the left shoulder. And twist. Inhale, rise, exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, and twist, and twist, and release. Both hands to the right hip. Good, little nod. Good, down, count, twist. And let's unravel and lay all the way back into your Shavasana. Legs long, arms long, palms next to your hips, palms up. Let your fingers curl. You're more than welcome to add anything on after we close out the class. Thank you so much. As your Shivasana waves over you, Notice your heartbeat, your lungs pumping. These two very sacred movements all day long. Let everything release. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. It's not only the best part of my day, probably the best part of my last 24 hours. I, I uh, yeah, I just, um, I'm so grateful for you. I had a tooth pulled, secret there. And, um, and it just felt so good to be with everybody today. Thank you so much. I put the donation link in the chat box. Your donations are deeply uh, received and we're grateful keeping the studios up and open for you virtually is we're so grateful for that we want to get to that day when we open the doors so thank you for supporting that deeply if you ever thought of the teacher training please i know early bird ended yesterday i'm one of the trainers it changed my life incredibly for the upside i've never looked back yoga has been there for me through so many times in my life so please have questions. I'll be on right now for a few moments. You can uh, catch us on Instagram, Facebook, and of course, email directly to us. We, uh, we want to hear from you. All the questions are so important. None are too small. With that, let's empty the lungs. Take in a deep, full inhale. Hold it. Take one more breath. Exhale, let it go. Wiggle your toes, enliven, stay here, turn your camera off or roll over to one side, bring a bicep underneath the ear, I'll unmute you. Thank you so, so much. Um, I reflect your gratitude deeply uh, right back at you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.